So today we are going to go over to our shapes and we are going to pick out the good old fashioned hexagon. So what I want to do with the hexagon is I want to make two of these. So I'm going to put one that's solid over here for later, later, later. And then I'm going to make one with a border, with the border weight that I want. So how, whatever thickness that you want, that's what you want to do. And then the interior color is going to be transparent. So what I want to do now is I want to duplicate and I want to line these up. Let's line them up. Let's do the arrow keys a little bit, get them pretty. Let's go over a little bit and line them up like so. And I got a couple of them so I can just do, do this and then just start taking my honeycombs and I'm lining them together like so. And then I want to take I'm going to duplicate and then bring them down here and make them line them up, duplicate. And then you're just going to fill in the honeycombs. I, if you want a lot of honeycomb, you want a little bit of honeycomb, it's going to be up to you. Um, or we're just going to do a basic honeycomb right now for a photo. Um, and then we'll do a little something more fancy smashy. So I have my color, my color my honeycomb in place now. So what I want to do with these, because it'll just make it easier for me, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, take that interior color and make it black. And I'm going to go like these and I'm going to start filling in spaces like so. And then once you have one of these made up, then you can use it and just drop any pictures in it when you want to any old fashioned way. You don't have to sit there and go and take a picture and put it in all these frames. It's, oh, it takes forever. So once you have one made up, you can like just go back in here and take out honeycombs, add honeycombs, do whatever you want to with it. It's just going to make it so much easier for you. You don't see that one. So we're going to go here and I'm going to duplicate this, put it here. And make sure you've got all the spots that you want covered up, covered up. That one needs to bump up a little bit. And, and we just like, you can duplicate. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it went there. Sometimes they don't go where you want them to go. But what, what we're doing now is just covering up the black spots. So, and then what you're going to do is just keep covering up your black spots like so. And then we go in here and cover up this one. Duplicate and make that little piece in here down like that. And then we're going to duplicate this. Duplicate one and put it there. And let's duplicate one and put it in this little spot here just for. And there's a little bit of white showing here. So we want to make sure that white's not showing. And there's some white here. So I'm going to duplicate that and just there's some black right there. And then with the rest of it, I am going to go in elements. I am going to grab a square. I want to make sure it is the right color black and have this little off black. And then I'm going to go like so and try to cover everything that I need to cover. We'll go here, make another. Or we can just do this. Here, let's do this and go all the way down like so. And then I can duplicate and just get and cover whatever else. So I'm technically making a mask without having to go into a background remover and making a mask. So that's what I'm doing here. So now I have this all out. Oh, I don't like the way that one looks. Let's plop that one over a little bit. Yes, much better. So now what you can do is you take all this. What you're gonna do, group it together. And now if you want a photo, let's go grab a photo, 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 photos. Let's grab a photo. For some reason, Taco Girl is it for right now. She is the bomb. And I'm gonna take this and set it as my background image. And then if you need to, you can move it around. Um, let's see, position, or take her, remo remove, detach her from the background. If we need to, we can go here. Ooh. We'll miss taco this away. And then I can just put it behind this. And then you have that effect. Now, if you know me, I'm gonna get a little crazy with this. So what I'm gonna do here, to make things kind of even more crazier, I'm going to ungroup these. Oh, let's go back and group them together. 
if I experiment with anything, I always duplicate the page. So I always have my original design just in case I really screw up what I'm playing with. So and now I will ungroup these. And then what I'm going to do is just like take some of these. And then you can get, just go and make like squares. Like so. And make all kinds of like weird new little intricate things. And then what you can do is you can go in and you can, I think I colored, I just took my draw tool and what I did is I made it black. I think I did it up a little bit, I put the weight on it a little bit. And then like say, I want this little piece black. So I just went in here, colored it in like so. And then you can just like really customize your design a little bit and not be the same old honeycomb and you can make it a little bit different and you can just like color these little spots in here and just kind of make it your own, make it a little bit cooler. You know me, I've got to go, I've got to take it a little bit up. Oops, see, I went off. So let's backspace that one and start all over with the coloring. See, I'm terrible at, terrible at coloring now, but I'm just trying to do this quickly. So I'm doing it bad. Sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. And I'm just sorry that it's in your ear, but but all right, I'm gonna be sloppy. And then you just take those when that's done and you know, do it pretty, don't do it ugly like I just did. And you can group that together. And then if you need to change a new picture in there, all you're gonna do is go out, go into position. Well, that picture grabbed into there. My bad. You can ungroup it. Let's just group the top part. So, say every see how everything is highlighted right here, and you don't want this grouped in. Hit your control key, unclick that, it unhighlights it, and then push group again. So now the whole top is grouped, but the photo isn't. So I can go to the photo. I can delete that. I can go back into my photos. Let's go into photos. Let's pick, uh, let's see something that's like, and let's just do that. Um, and then I can just put that in there like so. And then I can move the position of it like that. Oh, I think that ugly square because I can't color. You know, I do color and apps all the time and it's just easier when the computer's coloring it for you. But, and that's how easy. So once you have one of these, you can just, all you have to do is plop the picture behind it and you can use it over and over again. Even if you're doing like a, a match and move, let's, let's see what we can do with a little match and move animation in between it. See what happens. It should fade in and out to the new photo. So let's go, it'll fade into the new design and do that. And the other thing you can do too, let's see. Okay. If you wanna add more black around the edges and then you can take it and you can, move this so i would add some like extra black squares on the side that cover it when i group it and then you could go and you could go and do something like this even though the the page is too big but you could do something like that sometimes the shapes will move or the outlines will get thicker or thinner when you make them bigger so you have to be careful with that but you could also do stuff like that and move them around but that is just one way to play with some shapes and it's actually fun to do when you can make some and the other thing i did with mine is i used the background remover on on them afterwards and then i went into the old editor and put them in the curved and it really wound up popping it, it looked really good with that and, and it looked like a cool little 3d art piece so that's my fun with shapes and thank you for stopping by and maybe we'll make some more shapes and maybe we won't but either way i love you guys i will see you on the next one bye y'all